We've been out here on this stretch of the interstate all day, and there really haven't been any gaps of time that we haven't seen a lot of traffic. Again, the cars just keep coming. Now, not only did I learn today from NHP that it's Thanksgiving Eve, but it's also Drinksgiving, a time where people literally have events where they drink, which is fine. But if you're thinking, oh, I can have a couple beers or a couple drinks and then come drive, or I can put the pedal to the metal to get to my friends and family, think again. <laughs> It's a busy day on the roads for law enforcement on both sides of the state line. From California. Area 1, copy Blue 2. To Nevada. At one point years ago, this was the most dangerous stretch of highway in the country. And we're getting a look at that stretch from inside patrol cars. Local law enforcement has successfully helped lower the crash rate in this area through efforts like this collaborative patrol between NHP and California Highway Patrol. We're not necessarily out here looking for registration violations or minor infractions. We're out here trying to save lives. They're focusing on five things. Speeding, reckless driving, distracted driving, not wearing a seatbelt, and DUIs. About every fatal crash we encounter has a combination of those factors. Over in California, it's the same thing. We are going to be uh, enforcing the California Vehicle Code on the Nevada side of the border. That's not the only extra manpower out here. Boulder City Police and Nevada Public Safety are helping too. And the increase is hard to make down on the ground. Up in the sky, there is a little birdie helping too, courtesy of CHP. I have two vehicles, same speed, 88 miles an hour. I spoke with travelers about the police presence. People have sped by us doing like 90, 100. It's definitely um, disturbing sometimes. Several drivers told me their destination will be there when they get there, and the extra manpower enforcing the law will help make sure of it. It's good that the enforcement's out there because, yeah, it can be a little sketchy when you're going down the road. Now, between NHP and CHP together, they issued 274 citations. 225 of those were for speeding. And so far, and now this, these stats are from three, about 3.30 p.m. today. Now, I asked this on my social media. What number do you think was the highest clock speed as of that time? It was 117 miles per hour. Now, coming up on Fox 5 News at 6, I'll tell you how long they plan to do this joint enforcement. But again, don't think just because the joint enforcement stops, that means that enforcement will stop on on these roads. Reporting live, Trinae Morrow, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.